Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center and time for another Nature to Go. Now you just get home from grocery shopping and you know where you're going to put everything. Some of the stuff is going to go into the refrigerator. Some of the things you buy go into cupboards and you know exactly which shelf you're going to put those foods on so that then when you need them, you know exactly where to go to find them. But what about our wild friends? The birds especially, because a lot of times they store food as well. One bird in particular has an amazing adaptation to help it remember where it put that food. Those are chickadees. That's our topic today for Nature to Go. So birds have two choices to survive winter. They either can leave, they can migrate, or if they stay here, they need to be able to have access to food on a regular basis. Our chickadee friends, they need to eat about half of their body weight every day in order to have enough fat reserves to fuel their bodies overnight. So they're gonna spend their time looking for food and not just looking for food, but food that they can cache, that they can store. And they don't wait until winter to start looking for food. Already in the fall, when there's plenty of food available like seeds, they'll begin looking for and caching food. And where they're going to store it is in places like crevices in the bark of trees or under strips of bark maybe where there's holes in trees, under lichens, inside clusters of evergreen needles, even under shingles or in gutters. So by the end of winter, a single chickadee will have created tens of thousands of caches for all of the seeds that it has been storing and retrieving. Now, how do they remember where all this bounty is hidden? Some of what scientists have learned is that the birds use landmarks and the orientation of the sun to create a site-specific memory. It's kind of like when you visit a location and then when you go back to that spot later on, you totally remember what that day was like and all that was going on. Now for chickadees, it's not just that they remember that food is stored at that specific spot, but they remember what kind of food is there. As temperatures drop, the chickadees choose to return to caches that have higher calorie foods that are gonna provide them with more energy. They also remember when a cache has been emptied so that they don't waste energy by going to a place where there's no food. So chickadees have amazing memories, but it gets even crazier when you look at how those memories are built. It all has to do with their brains and specifically their hippocampus. Now a chickadee's brain is slightly smaller than a raspberry. Their hippocampus sits at the top of their brain, right under the black cap. The hippocampus is the part of the brain that deals with spatial memory. And what researchers have figured out is that in their hippocampus, they can change its size. Now in the fall, when those birds start caching, the number of neurons in the hippocampus begins to increase. And it's not just the neurons, but those pathways between the neurons also increases. So by the end of winter, their spatial memory is larger by about 30%. Physically, there's no difference in their appearance, but their hippocampuses are much more densely packed with neurons for the time being. Because it takes a lot of energy to maintain the neurons and the network between those neurons. So once spring comes, and there's more food available and weather conditions aren't as life-threatening, those neurons and pathways die. The hippocampus returns to its original size until the next fall when the caching behavior starts again and new neurons will grow. This is just one of the ways in which chickadees are amazing. Because, I mean, you could start talking about other survival strategies they have for dealing with winter cold what their songs mean. I mean, I could go on and on, but I'll save some of those other things for future episodes. So be on the lookout for chickadees. Watch them. Are they hiding food? Are they retrieving food? Just what are they doing? Chickadees, amazing birds. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time.